started back in 2014 uh, in December when the school board voted to sell us the property next to the library for one dollar. That set the path towards an 8,500 square foot expansion of the library. Uh, we have a brand new children's area, a brand new tech wing, tutoring rooms, a teen room for the first time, and a dedicated local history room because this area is just a hotbed of history. At a cost of six and a half million dollars, Pam Hessman is proud of the fact no taxpayer dollars were involved. We had over the last 30 years been compiling a building fund and in addition to that we worked with uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture Rural Development to get some facilities notes for the project. We also got grants from them. I'm inside the tech wing at the new library. Thanks to a partnership with Terra State Community College, it offers a host of new technology items for the public. We have the Makerspace Lab, more of the digital creative arts, and then we have a sound and recording studio for music and just for podcasting as well. And then we have the Tech Lab, which will focus on digital literacy and we'll use it to teach a multitude of different tech classes, also relating back to the Makerspace Lab and the sound studio. Haley Hoffman says at the library they love their books, but technology is needed currently for the public to have at their fingertips. Teaching software and also doing hands-on um, teaching with the machines. Nine-year-old Audra Reinick, who spent the morning reading inside the kids' area, loves the new space. I like the treehouse and all the little cushions and tables and in the books. It's way more spacious and you have a lot more room to do stuff. In Fremont, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.